friends, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And today I thought it would be fun to show you how you can use spray paint like this to update your jump standards. And I have these jump standards that I made. If you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know I make jumps. But I wanted to show you how easy it is to use spray paint to update your jump standards in case you wanted to, I don't know, change the color of your jumps. So you can go from regular jump standards to designer color jump standards in an afternoon. It's really easy, it's really fun, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So first what I did was clean the standards that I had and then just use some spray paint to spray paint them. This is a really easy way to update your jump standards and it's also a really affordable way for you to get some color on your standards. So for example, I'm painting these blue because I painted some rails blue with white and black but I didn't have any more of that paint so I found a spray paint that was pretty darn close to it so I could have my standards match the rails that I made and I just spray painted the bases, spray painted the uprights, and for me to make sure my paint job was really gonna last, I did do three coats of the spray paint on each of the standards. And even doing three coats of paint, I only ended up using one can of spray paint. Now fast forward to last weekend and I decided I wanted to use some rose gold paint on some standards. So again, I cleaned the standards first and re the bases and then I just painted them using rose gold spray paint. This spray paint was a little bit trickier to use. It didn't seem to cover as well as the Rust-Oleum. This is a different brand, this is Krylon. But the end result was still what I wanted it to be. I wanted rose gold jump standards and that's what I was able to achieve with this paint. And I found the Krylon paint is not nearly as forgiving as the Rust-Oleum. So the Krylon actually did tend to run a little bit. So if you're using the Krylon paint, be careful. Rust-Oleum is a little more forgiving with runs. Look at how shiny it is though. Isn't that awesome? And if you're starting with raw standards, standards that haven't been painted before, if you primer paint them, then you can use any type of spray paint and you'll get a really nice finish on your standards and you'll be able to use them a lot faster than if you were to paint them by hand. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? And it really didn't take a lot of time. Well, it did take a little bit of time because you have to wait for the paint to dry in between the coats of the spray paint. But the fun thing with the spray paint is it goes a lot faster than if you're using the brush on paint and it's a lot cheaper. I was able to do these standards, some jump cups, some rails, I don't know if you can see behind me, and a gate with three cans of rose gold spray paint, which when I get done with this project, I'm gonna have a really unique looking rose gold jump and I can't wait to share that with you. But for today, we just focused on the standards themselves. So go get a couple of cans of spray paint, clean up your standards 
and in the matter of a couple of hours or a weekend, you can have some updated jump standards and jumps for this year's jumping season, which right now it's January. It's cold outside, but this is a really great time to update your jumps and update your jumping equipment if it's cold where you live. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and then you can watch all my different videos where I show you how you can be a budget equestrian too. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.